Spectrophotometry is a technique that works on the principle of absorption of light by analyte present in the sample across UV visible electromagnetic spectrum. Today, we are going to use the technique for analysis and quantification of potassium permanganate present in the sample. For that, we have spectrophotometer, original solution that we call sample, and standard dilutions of potassium permanganate from 0.1 mg per ml to 0.5 mg per ml. We have droppers. We have two glass cuvettes. One for the reference test, and the second one for the sample test. Coming towards the spectrophotometer, this part is called monitor of spectrophotometer that gives us visual about our experimental work. The lower one is called control panel that enable us for setting the parameters for our experimentation. This chamber of spectrophotometer have the cell holder that holds the glass cubit in it. For quantification of the potassium permanganate, first we will run the reference test. For that, we will add the solvent in the glass cubit. Here we need to take the precaution. There are two different sides of glass cubit. It has two opposite sides two opposite transparent sides, sides of the glass cubit and two opposite opaque side of the glass cubit. While putting into the holder, we must take precaution the transparent side of glass cubit must face the light beam of spectrophotometer. We will add the solvent in the next glass cubit and put the glass cubit in the reference holder. Now we will select the parameters for absorbance. We will select the quantification. Here we can see 400 nanometer wavelength is selected but potassium permanganate absorbs the light range between 525 nanometer to 530 nanometer. So we'll change the wavelength by pressing F1 to change the parameter of wavelength. By pressing 2, we'll select the wavelength and we'll put our desired wavelength that is 525 nanometer and we'll enter Here, wavelength is selected, that is 525 nanometer. Now, we will return for our experimentation. Now, we'll start for reference. Now, we'll take out the glass cubit and we'll discard the solvent now we will take the absorbance of our standard dilutions of potassium permanganate. First, we will take the absorbance of solution of potassium permanganate that is 0.1 mg per ml. will press the start button for absorbance. We 
will take out the sample and discard before taking the absorbance of second dilution of potassium permanganate we need to wash the glass cube with distilled water now we will take the absorbance of second dilution of potassium permanganate that is 0.2 mg per ml before putting into the holder we need to clean the transparent side of glass cuvette with tissue paper so that maximum light from the light lamp can pass through it we close the cover and press the start button to take the absorbance now we'll take out the glass cuvette wash again with distilled water clean it now we'll take the absorbance of third standard solution of potassium permanganate that is 0.3 mg per ml again we will clean the transparent side of glass cube before putting it into the cell holder press the start button to take the absorbance we'll take out the glass cube and discard the sample again clean it with the distilled water shake slightly and discard it into the bin let's clean it now further we will take the absorbance of four standard solution of potassium permanganate that is 0.4 mg per ml will clean the transparent side of glass cuvette before putting it into the cell holder we'll close the lid and we'll press the start button to take the reading again we'll take out the glass cuvette We'll discard the sample wash it with the distilled water shake it slightly and dry it now we are going to take the absorbance of our last standard solution of potassium permanganate that is 0.5 mg per ml
we will clean the transparent side of the glass cuvette. It is very necessary that allows the maximum light pass through it. We'll put into the cell holder, close the lid, we'll press the start button to take the video. We'll take out the glass cuvette and discard the sample. We'll clean it with distilled water. Shake it nicely. And discard it. So far, we have taken the absorbance of our standard solution of potassium permanganate. Now, we will take the absorbance of our sample whose concentration is unknown to us. After the cleaning of glass cuvette, we'll take the solution from our sample. Clean the transparent side of the cuvette. and put it into the cell holder. Close the lid and press the start button to take the reading. We'll take out the glass cuvette and discard the sample. Clean it with the distilled water. put it back. So now we have taken the absorbance of our standard solution of potassium permanganate and the sample of potassium permanganate solution whose concentration is unknown to us. Now we will use that data of absorbance in the standard curve method to find out the concentration of potassium permanganate that is present in our sample. That is the first standard solution of potassium permanganate that is 0.1 milligram per ml. Second standard solution of potassium permanganate that is 0.2 milligram per ml. Third standard solution of potassium permanganate that is 0.3 milligram per ml. This is the fourth standard solution of potassium permanganate that is 0.4 milligram per ml. This is the fifth standard solution of potassium permanganate that is 0.5 milligram per ml. So far we have taken the absorbance of our standard solution of potassium permanganate and the solution of potassium permanganate in which the quantity is unknown. So we will use that data for the standard curve method to find out the concentration present in our sample. So we'll perform the calculation on the smart board. The data we have taken from the absorbance of our standard solution of potassium permanganate and the sample solution of potassium permanganate will use it in the standard curve method to find out the concentration of potassium permanganate in our sample. For that purpose, we will use the standard curve method to find out the concentration. So here, I have taken the concentration at x-axis and absorbance value at y-axis. Here you can see the concentration of standard solution of potassium permanganate are 0.1 milligram per ml to 0.5 milligram per ml. So I'll put the values on x-axis 0.1, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, 0.5, 
0.4 and 0.5 milligram per ml. So I'm going to take the absorbance of standard solution of potassium permanganate at y axis. So I'll set the scale. One, two, three, four, and five. If I look into the absorbance of 0.1 milligram per ml of potassium permanganate, that is 1.2. So here, approximately, that is a point where I can meet the absorbance value of 1.2. For concentration of 0.2 mg per ml, the absorbance value is 1.9, somehow near close to the 2. The absorbance value of 0.3 mg per ml is 2.3, slightly above the 2. Coming towards the absorbance value of 0.4 mg per ml, that is 3.1. So it is slightly above the 3, somehow here. Now I'll put the value of standard solution that is 0.5 mg per ml and its absorbance value is 4.2 somehow close to the above the 4 so that is the graph is generated that data will generate a, a straight line a slope line denoted with m and that slope line will intercept at y-axis it is also known as y-intercept and denoted with b so when i'm going to put the absorbance value of unknown solution that is 2.5 that is somehow near between the 2 and 3 So when I'll draw the line for absorbance of unknown solution, I'll draw the line it will intercept somewhere at slope M that point is known as x and when i'll draw it down so it will give me a concentration that is approximately 0.29 milligram per ml so that's how we can find out the concentration of potassium permanganate through standard curve method